I'm Stacy Tisdale for Houdini. Okay, so you're eating for two now. What does that actually mean? What should you be eating and what should you be avoiding? Joining us to help navigate through these questions, Dr. Keith Edelman. He's the director of obstetrics at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York and the author of two books, including Pregnancy for Dummies. Dr. Edelman, thank you so much for joining us. How much is too much when it comes to weight gain during pregnancy? It's probably one of the most common questions I get. And really for the average size woman, the recommendation is that you gain somewhere between 25 and 35 pounds throughout the whole pregnancy. 25 to 35 pounds, how does that translate into actual calories? Well, most women, average women, when they're not pregnant, consume about 2,000 to 2,100 calories a day. A pregnant woman needs to, to increase her caloric intake by about 300 calories a day. So it would increase to about 2,300 or 2,400 total calories a day. And what do you think are the kinds of foods that pregnant women should really focus on? There's so much debate about this. It's not just calories. You really want to eat high quality calories things that are high in protein. You're building a baby. Babies are built of protein and, and you want to have the building blocks to build a baby, so high proteins. Things that are low in saturated fat, just like when you're not pregnant. I mean, you also want to eat foods that are high in calcium. You're building bones for the baby, so you want to make sure that you have an adequate calcium intake. So really, you know, green leafy vegetables that have lots of vitamins and iron themselves. So really a, a good, healthy, commonsensical diet that's the same as when you're not pregnant. Cravings are so strong, and I know a lot of women say, oh, I can eat whatever I want because I'm taking some of these great prenatal vitamins and supplements. Talk more about that. You know, if you have a craving for chocolate, it's okay to indulge yourself occasionally. That's okay. You just want to make sure that you're not overdoing it. Things like chocolate have um, a lot of good in them, but they also have some things that you want to watch out for. They're high in, in, uh, in, in saturated fats, so you want to make sure that you're not making the largest part of your diet that. They also, and a lot of people don't know this, but they also have caffeine. Caffeine's okay during pregnancy as long as you limit it to about 300 milligrams a day. That boils down to about two cups of coffee a day, two normal sized cups of coffee. But if you're eating a lot of chocolate, then you need to add that caffeine into the total of 300 uh, milligrams a day. So cravings are okay as long as you don't overindulge yourself in them. Let's talk about overindulgence. A lot of debate about whether or not pregnant women should drink alcohol. What's the real story on that? Well, there's no absolute safe level of alcohol that's known, but most clinicians, most obstetricians feel that an occasional um, alcoholic beverage, say once or twice a week, is really not going to, to cause substantial harm to the baby. Clearly, binge drinking on a regular basis or drinking heavily every day is not good and no woman should do that while she's pregnant. But probably if you have a normal sized glass of wine or a normal beverage, you know, one or two times a week, that's probably safe for the baby. So watch what you eat, avoid overindulging in any of these things, and you do think the supplements and the prenatal vitamins are a big help as well. Prenatal vitamin supplements contain just that, vitamins and minerals. They don't contain calories. So that doesn't substitute the need to increase your caloric intake. You still need to do that by eating foods that are, that are good calories, high in proteins and things like that. But the supplements help you get some of the minerals and vitamins that's hard for you to get in a normal diet. What food should women avoid? Well, women should avoid um, consuming anything that's made with unpasteurized milk, um, cheeses that are made with unpasteurized milk. Um, anything made with pasteurized milk is fine. Um, unpasteurized milk can contain listeria, which is a bacteria that's harmful to pregnancy. So anything made with unpasteurized milk, you should avoid. Women should also avoid eating fish that are high in levels of mercury. Specifically, those fish are swordfish, tilefish, um, king mackerel, and shark. Those, those fish contain high levels of mercury, which can affect a developing pregnancy, so you should avoid those. Things like salmon are actually um, low in mercury, and those are, are, can provide some beneficial effects. The omega-3 fatty acids of those can be beneficial to the, uh, to the developing fetus. Great question that people ask, should I avoid canned tuna? Um, canned tuna does contain, contain some mercury, but not at the same levels as the four that I mentioned earlier. So it's okay to consume uh, tuna, canned tuna, in moderation, probably one to two cans a week, I would limit it to. Um, you should not eat raw meat. Things like steak tartare you should avoid because they carry uh, not only a risk of listeria but also something called toxoplasmosis, which is another type of infection. So I would avoid eating, eating raw, raw meat. Great advice, Dr. Keith Edelman, Director of Obstetrics at Mount Sinai Hospital here in New York. Thanks for joining Houdini. Thanks for having me again.